People want to kill me, and they tell me so every day. People want to put my baby in the microwave, and they tell me that. Johnny threatened, promised, promised me that if I ever left him, he'd make me think of him every single day that I lived. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. wanted Mr. Duff's money. You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're Fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. Oh, you're How? What am I supposed to do? Do this? Oh, you're I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Ms. Hurd would take the low blows and hit him where it hurts, his children. Mr. McGivern told you that on March 23rd, 2015, Ms. Hurd threw things at Mr. Depp, spat at him, and ultimately punched him in the face, leaving him with a shiner. You heard testimony from Malcolm Connolly, another security member, who testified he saw Ms. Hurd throw things at Mr. Depp, a cigarette lighter on a plane, a soda can from upstairs at the Eastern Columbia building. He never saw marks on Miss Hurd, but he saw marks on Mr. Depp. Scratches, bruises on his left eye, scratches on his left ear. And he took pictures documenting injuries like this one. Judy! Judy! Miss Hurd. Ms. Hurd's acting coach, Christina Sexton, testified that Ms. Hurd has difficulty crying when she is acting. You saw it. Ms. Hurd sobbing without tears while spinning elaborate, exaggerated, fantastical accounts of abuse and everything going on in her mind. It was a performance. 